Hey everybody, welcome back to Paul and Benny. I'm Paul. I'm Benny, and today we're gonna go over the five kitchen utensils that you need in your kitchen. Exactly, a while back we did seven items that you really don't need in your kitchen. So today we're gonna tell you five things we suggest you really have to make kitchen a better place. And we are filming at Agritopia. It's in Gilbert, this beautiful like mixed use development, lots of different types of houses within this development, a beautiful farm. And behind us here, there's a chicken coop. So if you hear chickens, that's why. So it's been raining for four days here and it finally stopped this afternoon. Um, so there's still some clouds above, but the sun came out and it's beautiful now. It's not too hot. We're sitting here surrounded by beautiful produce all over, got delicious strawberry lemonade. There's a coffee shop here, a restaurant, a produce stand. There's fruit and vegetables growing all around. We'll show you more in just a minute. So, but let's get into it. Number one. The first item we think everyone needs in their kitchen is a cast iron skillet. Yes, a cast iron skillet is a must. Cast iron stays hotter longer once you warm it up. It doesn't burn your food so easily. Contrary to popular belief, it's easy to clean and you don't need special utensils to cook with it. If you scratch it up, you scratch it up. People have been using the same pan for hundreds of years, passed down through their family. It's gonna be fine. And the coating doesn't peel. You don't have to worry about Teflon getting in your food or any of that nonstick stuff. You can cook with it on the stove, gas, electric, on the barbecue, oh, over the right. fire. Yeah, you can even bake with it. Throw some cornbread in there. Cornbread. <laughs> it's so easy, so useful, and you only need the one pan, maybe two, a big and a small. But other than that, you, that's all you need is a good cast iron skillet. And if you're not used to cooking with it, get used to it. It's worth it. Wow. It's such a beautiful day. Let's take a walk around the farm while we talk about these. Is that cool? Sounds good to me. All right. Okay, so let's walk and talk. Number two. What's number two, Paul? Number two is a microplane. Ooh, microplane. You know, I hadn't heard about that until I met you. <laughs> it's just a little grater, right? But the grater is so tiny, you get micro little pieces of whatever you're grating, and it eliminates the need for so many other kitchen tools. Like, you don't need a yeah. garlic press. You don't need a nutmeg grater. A you don't citrus need a citrus thingy. Yeah. A citrus zester. Mm -hmm. You don't need one. You have this microplane and you can grate anything into the tiniest little pieces. Chocolate for your desserts. Oh yeah. Yeah. So your ginger. Nutmeg. Your, yeah. Garlic when you're trying to make a puree or you need crushed garlic. Like yeah. So you get rid of all those items out of your drawer. You just have one thing that you can rinse clean. It's easy. Easy enough. So number three, I'll actually take credit for finding this one, is a roll of scrubbers. I actually found them at the Korean market and they turned out to be the best thing, one of the best things that we have in our kitchen. They're really strong, durable, uh, disposable. You know the scrubber sponges you get and they're like rough on one side and spongy on the other? They gross me out, they get food <laughs> caught in them, you pick it up it's cold or like I need to bleach them all the time and I hate them. So these are disposable. They last a long time, right? A roll lasts like a month or two? Yeah, at least. And it's probably five or $6 for the whole roll and sometimes they're on sale. Mm -hmm. It's just a good find. If you have a Korean market near you, you should get some. And if not, maybe they're on Amazon? Probably on Amazon, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll show you in the, in the caption below. We'll tell you where to get them. <laughs> And then before we go any further, let's just give you a little quick tour. This is in the middle of this development called Agritopia. It's a beautiful farm setup. So right now it's obviously between season and just had a bunch of rain. But along this little path we've been walking, there's grapes. Now they don't use them for any wines or anything yet, but that'd be awesome if they did. And then all these fields here behind us, those are all farmed by people in the community um, that help out. And when you walk around, depending on the time of year you're here, you're going to see different things that it growing in the fields and in their personal plots as well. Now we can see some zucchini, some melon. Over by the hen house, there's some pomegranates. Um, just like really cool little, little development that we love to come to when it's a beautiful day like today. All right, so on to the next. What's number four? Number four is a knife sharpener. Ooh, yes. And I know it sounds pretty obvious that everyone needs a knife sharpener in their drawer. But I think a lot of times we get used to using dull knives because they go dull gradually. So yep. pretty soon you can't cut through that slice of tomato without like squishing it or get through <laughs> the chicken skin and you're just mad. Um, sharpen your knives often. Keep them really sharp. It's safer and cooking is way easier when you do. All right, so I just want to stop real quick and say, tell you a little story. My mom had a favorite knife while I was growing up and it was the one she used to chop everything from tomatoes, onions, potatoes. I mean, she had a feed of family of five, so just imagine how much 
food she was chopping with this knife. And I think she could have cut down her cooking and prep time by half if she had a knife sharpener. <laughs> and sorry, mom, if you're watching this, I'll get you one. Don't worry. That way you can still use that knife and keep it nice and sharp. It's worth it, right? It's totally worth it. So totally many of us, it. we're just used to using dull knives. Get them nice and sharp. Don't be scared. And last but not least is our fifth item. And once again, it's an Asian market find, specifically from the Korean market. Mm -hmm. And it is... An electric kettle. We use our electric kettle all the time. I mean, right. Benny is Mr. Coffee himself. I use it every single day. Like Paul said, I'm Mr. Coffee himself. Nice to meet you. Um, literally use it to, for my French press, for my instant espresso, if I'm making cowboy coffee. I mean, anything, any, anything coffee related, that electric kettle gets filled and turned on every morning. I mean, how long does it take to boil a kettle of water in the electric kettle? I mean, a full pot, like two minutes most? At the three, most, three, three, right? Maybe, yeah. And for a cup of coffee, you probably need like half that so a minute if honestly especially when i do my espresso shots instant espresso shots it's not much water and it takes 30 seconds at most yeah i use it for tea all the time and whenever i need boiling water yeah. for cooking potatoes or any other vegetable or recipe you don't have to wait so long for your pot of water to boil you get the water started on the stove but meantime you start your electric kettle dump it in there and your water boils twice as quickly it really speeds up your cooking when you're cooking for a crowd and speaking of cooking things, you can boil your water, get it started to steam your eggs. That's right. Yes, which if you haven't watched, Paul tells us how to make the perfect boiled egg every single time. And Check just, it out. And a hint, it's not by boiling them. <laughs> I said earlier, Agrotopia's mixed use. They have different types of housing. They have apartments, they have single family homes, they have uh, mixed use homes and mixed use retail, but they also have like schooling. You can kind of see behind us here. On a different part of the property, they even have retirement communities. So it's a bunch of different types of people living together, sharing a space, sharing land to grow things. It's a really cool concept. I know other places have been doing it, but here in Gilbert, it's such a beautiful mesh of all these different uses. If you're in Phoenix, make sure you come check it out, pick up an amazing tea, get some really good food, really good coffee, and don't forget to like stroll these grounds. And don't forget the Christmas lights. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember all the little streets are lit up with the cute cottages or houses mm -hmm. or whatever they're living in. <laughs> beautiful, it's so old timey, it's so retro, it's so, gorgeous but in a contemporary space mm -hmm. it's really worth the drive and one last thing i just want to throw in there it's not a kitchen utensil but it is something i think you need in your kitchen benny says you need it <laughs> is a jar of instant espresso mm. it makes life so much easier when you're in a bind if your coffee machine breaks if your french press breaks or if you run out of coffee yes i mean anything can go wrong in the morning the last thing you want is to be coffeeless so you get a little pack of instant espresso a little jar of instant espresso throw it in some hot water with your electric kettle put it over ice and you got an iced americano right and it's so much better than instant coffee mm -hmm. and then not to mention you can use it in baking yeah right you make some brownies you make a chocolate cake throw a teaspoon or so in there makes it so much richer so much more chocolatey it just makes everything rich and chocolatey even better. Yes, so instant espresso, a must. That was fun, that was a good little walk. So beautiful out. It's a little humid though. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> okay, it's beautiful, but it's getting warm. So there's the five kitchen items we think you need in your kitchen. Let us know in the comments below. What's something you have in your kitchen you think everyone needs to make kitchen life easier? And remember, if you like our videos, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell so you get notified when we post more videos. Absolutely. As always, I'm Paul. I'm Benny. We're grateful for super useful kitchen items. And we're grateful for you watching.